Welcome to the 2021 Maria and Sam Miller Nursing Excellence Award Ceremony. Hello and thank you for joining our celebration. This evening, we honor an elite group of nurses. You have earned the organization's most esteemed recognition for nursing excellence. Cleveland Clinic ranks among the world's best healthcare systems because of you. Our nurses have shaped the future of healthcare for 100 years. Tonight's honorees are special for many reasons. You act as leaders in advancing this profession. You provide superior care to our patients and communities, and you treat others on the team with the highest degree of respect. Your fellow caregivers witness your dedication every day. It is why they nominated you for this award. Nurses are also deeply valued members of the community. The late Sam Miller admired your skill, integrity, and compassion. His generosity created this awards program. To each of our award recipients, thank you for your commitment to Cleveland Clinic. I congratulate you and hope you enjoy tonight's ceremony. Now, please welcome Executive Chief Nursing Officer, Meredith Fox. Thank you, Dr. Mihalovic. Indeed, our organization celebrates a rich history of nursing excellence. And I too am grateful to Sam and Maria Miller for giving us the opportunity to recognize these very special nurses who have made their own mark of excellence in nursing. Our awards recipients are not only building on our great legacy, but paving the path for a promising future. This evening's honorees are trailblazers. They push the boundaries and are exceptional examples of what progressive nursing looks like. They were chosen by their peers because they stood out as creative thinkers and innovators. They are outstanding team members, always putting patients first. And every day, at every level, they exemplify Cleveland Clinic's professional nursing practice model. This model is what guides the work of all Cleveland Clinic nurses. And since the inception of our Nursing Excellence Awards program nearly 10 years ago, our awards have aligned with the model. Patients and their families come to Cleveland Clinic because of the safe, expert, innovative, and compassionate care our nurses provide. Our award recipients have proven themselves to deliver this type of high quality care better than most. Making swift decisions, taking thoughtful action, working collaboratively with their fellow caregivers and giving patients 100% of themselves day in and day out. Their stories of professional success are nothing short of inspiring. Tonight you will get a glimpse into their character, their commitment to evidence-based practice, their desire to continuously learn and develop, and their incredible forethought and ingenuity. Throughout the program, our Lifetime Achievement winners will share their first-hand thoughts on the world of nursing from days past, their view on the profession today, and their unique perspectives on what the future holds. I am extremely proud of each of our 2021 Nursing Excellence Awards recipients and all that you have accomplished, as well as all that you aspire to be. It is a great privilege to join you tonight in celebration of your amazing success. Thank you for your profound commitment to our wonderful profession and for giving so selflessly to help others in need. As we begin our ceremony, I would like to quickly take a moment to also thank the planning committee and event team who worked hard to coordinate and produce our celebration this evening. They have done a wonderful job and their efforts are sincerely appreciated. I'd now like to direct your attention to our first featured video of the evening, which takes us back to the nursing of yesterday as our Lifetime Achievement Award recipients recall what it was like when they first began their careers, what has changed, and more importantly, what will always stay the same. Nursing was much different. I think technology was just pretty non-existent. I mean, I was working when there were no IV pumps. You had to look at your watch and count how many drips in five seconds. We would have IV bottles that we would hang, and I remember mixing up our own medications. Everybody wore their hats from the school, and a lot of nurses wore dresses at that point, the white dresses. Pants didn't come till a little later. Yeah, um, white hose, you know, the, sh the shoes. You could smoke. People smoked in the hallways. People smoked at the desk. You would go into the break room and go You couldn't even see. I miss paper. I love just having my notes on my little card and charting at the end of the day. The computer was a huge adjustment for anybody that's been a nurse for a while. Back then, you would follow the physician with the charts, voice your opinion a little bit, but you really didn't that much. Nursing has really become recognized as a profession. We're colleagues 
and we're respected. The autonomy that the nurse has now is 100% different. That hierarchy isn't there anymore. We're a team and we really work as a team. We have a stronger sense of community and the people look at us differently and, and admire where we've come throughout all these years. What I think every day is the talent and the skill level and competency of nurses has grown so much. They just have to be so specialized now in their care because they're very, very complicated patients. What's changed is technology. What's changed is our ability to connect with people. What has always been remaining the same is the focus to the patient. And I don't think that will ever change because that's why you go into nursing. That's what you want to do. We begin tonight's award recognition with the Samuel H. Miller Art of Nursing Award, presented in appreciation of clinical nurses who promote and support healing for patients, families, and colleagues with compassion and empathy. The 2021 honorees are Laura E. Jewell Bennett, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Laura has worked at Cleveland Clinic throughout her 40-year career. She continues to be motivated by the daily opportunities for critical thinking, problem-solving, and learning. Inspired by her faith, Laura serves others with a compassionate heart. Donna Buckmeyer, Weston Hospital. Donna has spent her 15-year nursing career at Weston Hospital. Proud to be a certified medical surgical registered nurse, preceptor, and treasurer of her unit's staff satisfaction committee, Donna is committed to being her best and always doing the right thing for her patients and colleagues. Aisha Marie Cavallo, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. Aisha Marie specializes in cardiovascular care and throughout her 12-year career has received recognitions for her work including the Individual Nursing Excellence and Safety Champion Award. In 2020, Aisha played a key role in helping to train fellow caregivers on the COVID-19 unit. Martha Fulweiler, Cleveland Clinic Indian River Hospital. A nurse of 29 years, Martha joined Indian River Hospital five years ago as a nurse preceptor in the Intermediate Cardiac Care Unit. Dedicated to improving care Martha co-chairs the unit-based Shared Governance Committee and is currently pursuing her BSN through Chamberlain College of Nursing. Susan M. Garcher, South Point Hospital. Susan had a childhood dream to become a nurse. Encouraged by her parents to work hard and reach her goals, she has spent the majority of a 41-year nursing career at Cleveland Clinic, serving as a vascular access nurse and helping new nursing caregivers learn and grow in their own roles. Shauna Godsey, Medina Hospital. Shauna began her nursing career at Medina Hospital 18 years ago. She's team co-captain for the county's Relay for Life and led the ICU-based council for three years. Shauna has also worked on projects to improve hand hygiene, decrease Foley catheter use, and improve physician communication with staff and families. Christine A. Harrington, Cleveland Clinic Union Hospital. Christine, a 34-year nursing veteran, serves as both stroke coordinator and nursing quality program manager in critical care at Union Hospital. She is dedicated to improving healthcare in a rural community and was an integral member of the team that led Union Hospital to become a Joint Commission Certified Primary Stroke Center. Laura Lucas. Cleveland Clinic Akron General. Laura is proud to work at Akron General Hospital for the past 14 years of her nursing career. She's dedicated to providing high quality and compassionate care to her patients and credits them, along with her grandmother, who was also a nurse, for helping her become the exceptional clinician she is today. Michelle Mully, Euclid Hospital. Michelle, a nurse for 30 years at both Euclid and South Point Hospitals, has recently led the charge to increase the number of certified nurses in her department, going from one to seven in just two years. Michelle is inspired by the patients she meets and honored to help with their struggles and share in their triumphs. Ronald R. Monroe, Lutheran Hospital. 
Ronald has been a clinical nurse in the orthopedic unit at Lutheran Hospital for 10 years, where he serves as a vascular access resource nurse, bloodborne pathogen champion, preceptor, and member of the retention committee. Ronald is grateful to be part of a team of teams dedicated to providing the highest quality patient care. Marlis Napier, Cleveland Clinic Martin Health. Throughout her 30-year career, Marlis has worked as an oncology and medical surgical nurse, supervisor of triage and care navigation, and office manager. Currently, she is senior office coordinator of staffing. Of all her roles, the 15 years in oncology is what Marlis feels shaped her most as a nurse and person. Patricia J. O'Deans, Marymount Hospital. Patricia is a veteran nurse of 30 years who spent all but one year at Cleveland Clinic. Patricia works as a clinical nurse in the preoperative and post-anesthesia care unit at Marymount's Ambulatory Surgery Center. During the pandemic, Patricia redeployed to the ICU to care for patients with COVID-19. Theodore Ramos, Avon Hospital. Theodore began his 12-year nursing career in a neurological step-down unit at Maine campus. He currently works in the Rapid Observation Unit at Avon Hospital and also helped open the facility several years ago. He's proud to be part of such a collaborative and outstanding team of caregivers. Kristen Smith, Fairview Hospital. Kristen is a geriatric, mobility, and epilepsy champion and a pain mentor. She's also National Institute of Health Stroke Scale certified and a member of her unit's Shared Governance Committee. For the past seven years, Kristen has been committed to improving care for her very special patients and their families. Tina Thornton, London Hospital. Tina joined London Hospital two years ago as Director of Nursing Quality, Education, and Professional Practice. Her two decades of experience include working in acute medical admissions, serving in senior cardiac specialist nursing roles, and developing nursing education and quality initiatives. Tina is currently a member of the Florence Nightingale Foundation and the Shared Governance Forum at London Hospital. Maggie Zalea, Hillcrest Hospital. Maggie began her nursing career 10 years ago on a medical surgical unit at Maine campus. Five years ago, she became a clinical nurse on a perioperative unit at Hillcrest Hospital Surgery Center. Committed to the training and advancement of nurses, Maggie also serves as co-chair of Hillcrest Professional Development Council. Congratulations to all of our Samuel H. Miller Art of Nursing Award recipients. Your compassion and empathy is a true testament to putting patients first. During COVID, when people were saying you were heroes, I didn't view it as being a hero. I viewed it as just being a nurse. We're the front lines. We're the ones that are going the room no matter what. COVID has brought out so many ups and downs, but we were able to really help each other and our patients, which at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Ambulatory nurses, they were cross-trained to be inpatient nurses. Nobody hesitated. I have a lot of teams, and I can say not one single person said, no, I can't do this. Our ICU nurses created all these ways to titrate drips and keep a patient safe while keeping themselves safe. We managed it because that's what we do as nurses. We, we figure it out and we get the job done. You always see compassion here every day. I mean, you can't miss it. Just something special about those days and how nurses just replaced families at the bedside. Seeing my fellow nurses holding hands of patients who are dying in that room by themselves. Our hearts have been broken multiple times, but we've never lost that sense of patient and, and who mattered most. We were all here together. We were the troops and we're still here now, ready for it again. We'll go at it. I think it's always a great time to be a nurse. You can do anything, and there's so many different fields to go into. It's something that really fits you, fits your family, fits your, your passions and your goals. I've always had a little voice in my head saying, 
You can do that. You're smart enough for that. And in nursing, you can. It's limitless. You find what you love and you'll know when it happens. All of a sudden it clicks and it's like, this is it. This is where I belong. This is what I was meant to do. You go home at night and you always feel like you've done something good for the hospital, good for the family, good for the community, good for the world. The next set of awards honor the foundation of our institute and are presented to those exhibiting the behaviors demonstrated in our professional practice model. The Professional Practice Model Award for Relationship-Based Culture is presented in recognition of clinical nurses who have significantly contributed to the promotion and support of healing environments for patients, families, and colleagues. The 2021 honorees are Lee Jen He, Avon Hospital. With 22 years of nursing experience, including eight years on a medical surgical unit in her native China and more than 12 years at Cleveland Clinic, Li Jen has received numerous recognitions for her compassion, work ethic, and collaboration. She's passionate about improving end-of-life care and serves on Cleveland Clinic's hospice volunteer team. Danielle R. Pliva, Fairview Hospital. Danielle began her nursing career 10 years ago at Medina Hospital and joined Fairview Hospital's Kemper Coronary Care Unit five years ago as a clinical nurse. Danielle is honored to receive this award, which reflects her day-to-day -day interactions with patients and how those have inspired her ability to improve bedside care. Thank you, Lee Jen and Danielle, for your commitment to providing a healing environment to all the lives you serve. The Professional Practice Model Award for Professional Practice and Development is presented in recognition of nurses committed to professional development and advancing the education of patients, families, communities, and colleagues. The 2021 honorees are Dawn Howard, Fairview Hospital. Dawn has dedicated her 22-year nursing career to neonatal intensive care. She helped improve parent and staff satisfaction and decrease patient length of stay. In 2020, she joined a NICU committee to further reduce length of stay in late preterm and term infants. Donna Santangelo, Weston Hospital. Donna has served as a nursing professional development specialist in surgical services, chairs the Professional Development Council, and is a member of the Emergency Management Committee. Donna's 24-year nursing career was inspired by her grandmother's own work in patient care and a shared passion to help and heal others. Thank you, Don and Donna, for your dedication to professional development and education. The Professional Practice Model Award for Quality and Safety is presented in recognition of nurses who are deeply committed to quality care and patient safety. The 2021 honorees are Anita J. Meehan, Cleveland Clinic, Akron General. Anita is a 35-year veteran nurse. She co-developed a perioperative pressure injury prevention protocol and is currently principal investigator on an interdisciplinary project to optimize care of older adults with hip fracture. Anita values the ability to collaborate with bedside clinicians in providing best practice care to patients and families. Kelly Quigley, Fairview Hospital. Kelly began her career seven years ago at Cleveland Clinic. She leads the Quality Shared Governance Committee to communicate changes in policies and procedures and remove barriers for bedside caregivers. Always inspired by her grandmother's nursing career, Kelly is currently pursuing her MSN through Chamberlain College of Nursing. Thank you, Anita and Kelly, for your attention to quality care and patient safety. The Professional Practice Model Award for Research, Evidence-Based Practice and Innovation is presented in recognition of nurses dedicated to the promotion of evidence-based practice and nursing research. The 2021 honorees are Patricia Probilski, Hillcrest Hospital. A nurse for 45 years, Patricia has applied her expertise to pain management research projects. Last year, she presented a poster on opioid addiction at Shared Governance Day and in 2021, we'll present a poster entitled Comfort Bundle Pain Management at the Ohio Conference of the Association of Women's Health, Obstetric, and Neonatal Nurses. Antoinette Rabhamed, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. 
With a 25-year nursing career, Antoinette joined Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi six years ago as a program manager in continuing education, specialty certifications, and academic partnerships. She's helped maximize the potential of nurses as researchers, critical thinkers, and preceptors. Last year, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi earned accreditation from the ANCC in Nursing Continuing Professional Development. Thank you, Patricia and Antoinette, for leading by example in promoting research, evidence-based practice, and innovation. Congratulations to all of our 2021 Professional Practice Model Award recipients. My wish for the future of nursing is, there's a lot. <laughs> I think nurses' journey will be different as far as technology. We'll be working more in people's homes, either virtually or actually in their homes again, which is kind of how nursing started. I hope that they continue to see the importance of being at the table of change and research and understanding that we have the ability to really impact healthcare. So that's what we're good at, you know, filling in the gaps between the technology and the treatment and actually, you know, caring for the patient. We need people who are strong, who are willing to see things in a different light and who want to move nursing forward and really work to the top of our license. My advice to young nurses now is to stay the course. Get through the obstacles and, and you will be so happy at the end. You have to be honest, very honest. You have to be able to be humble. It's always a changing profession and you just have to go with the changes. It can be emotionally and physically very draining, but fulfilling too. Continue growing, continue sticking together, know that you are important and we do make a difference. And I think they're just the strongest group of people ever, the strongest profession you could find because little challenges and we, we will overcome them all. That's okay, we'll get, we got this. So even when I'm done physically working here, I will always be a nurse and I will always encourage people to get into a, a, a career they will never regret. The Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award presentation is presented in recognition of research excellence, recognizing one nurse annually who raises awareness of the value of evidence-based practices that result from nursing research and encouraging nurses to think innovatively, develop research questions, conduct research, disseminate findings, and translate them into practice. The 2021 Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award honoree is Samantha Bogner, Fairview and Avon Hospitals. Samantha is a 23-year nursing veteran. She enjoys working in the emergency department because it is the front line of medicine. Samantha is grateful to Nancy Albert for serving as her mentor on a research project related to ED use of IV loop diuretics in patients with decompensated heart failure. Thank you, Samantha, for your commitment to evidence-based care, and congratulations on being this year's Nancy M. Albert Nursing Research Excellence Award recipient. Our next award of the evening is the Carolyn Neiman APRN Excellence Award. This award is presented in recognition of excellence in clinical care, support, and promotion of the APRN role in interdisciplinary collaboration. The 2021 honorees are Jessica Glennie, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Jessica has spent her entire 15-year nursing career at Cleveland Clinic. For the past six years, she served as a nurse practitioner in pulmonary medicine. Jessica also started and leads the Northeast Ohio Pulmonary Fibrosis Support Group and initiated Cleveland's Pulmonary Fibrosis Walk, now in its third year. Jane Elizabeth Ragazine, Cleveland Clinic Akron General. A 40-year nursing veteran, Jane is a women's health nurse practitioner in labor and delivery and the obstetrics emergency department at Akron General. She's also helped create the Providing Access to Healing program, 
and provided testimony to the Ohio House of Representatives in support of a bill to authorize dating violence protection orders. Congratulations to Jessica and Jane, this year's Carolyn Neiman APRN Excellence Award recipients. Thank you for your service and commitment to Cleveland Clinic. And now a special message to this year's honorees from Cleveland Clinic board member, Mike Benz. First, congratulations to the Nursing Award recipients. Hi, I'm Mike Benz and I'm the chairman of South Point Hospital and on the board of directors here at the Cleveland Clinic. I'm also on the Regional Hospitals Policy Committee. I have been and am a longtime supporter and advocate for the nursing profession and for nurses overall. You are the miracle workers, the true healers. When I was very sick, you made me feel I was the only one you were worried about. I was in a great deal of pain from ischemic colitis. I had your caring to get me through 24 seven. Your caring made it easier. I will always have a great deal of respect and admiration for all of you. You make a difference every minute, every hour, and every day, and especially for the award winners today. To be given an award means you have achieved professional excellence. This is a remarkable achievement. To be given an award, you must continuously work to advance the nursing profession through evidence-based research, nursing innovations, ongoing education, professional development, and technology. Things that matter that I have noticed or have heard at board meetings or other meetings, you use initiative and act on opportunities. You have a positive attitude in this most difficult time. Ownership and responsibility are your key words. Seeing the bigger picture, you are the problem solvers, anticipating issues, and you use critical thinking to develop innovative practices. Nurses like you, are shaping nursing now and will shape nursing in the future. Please continue your excellence, your attitude, your caring, even in these tough times. You are the miracle workers. My sincere congratulations to each and every award winner. Job well done. And to all of you miracle workers and healthcare professionals, thank you for always being there for all of us. You make a huge difference. Thank you and congratulations. Our final awards for the evening are the Lifetime Achievement Awards, presented to nurses in recognition of a career that's demonstrated exceptional achievement in advancing nursing practice, improving patient outcomes, enhancing work environments, and promoting multidisciplinary teamwork. The 2021 Lifetime Achievement honorees are Sharon Barber, 27-year nursing career, Ashtabula County Medical Center. As a 27-year veteran in the emergency department at Ashtabula County Medical Center, Sharon Barber epitomizes nursing. She inspires peers to provide compassionate care to everyone who comes through the ED doors. Sharon mentors new nurses, calms scared patients and families, and serves as the go-to caregiver for doctors who need assistance. Bev Fedor Garcia, 40-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic main campus. Recently retired, Bev dedicated her nursing career to caring for the most critically ill patients. She was a leader in the special procedure room in the cardiac and heart failure ICU at main campus, coaching new nurses and continually advocating for process improvements. Bev shaped the environment of care through her dedication to the art of nursing. Mary Hellman, 33-year nursing career, Ashtabula County Medical Center. Mary has spent most of her nursing career caring for her community. As a valued member of the endoscopy department, she's praised for her teamwork, communication, critical thinking, and time management skills. Mary always puts patients first and is a calming presence in the department. Victoria Moore, 43-year nursing career, Medina Hospital. 
Victoria Moore was a mentor, support, and leader for Medina Hospital's caregivers during her 32-year career there. She worked tirelessly as the inpatient wound, ostomy, and continence nurse, educating patients and caregivers alike. Although she retired, she'll be remembered for her compassion, integrity, and commitment to patients. Maureen Moscarino, 37-year nursing career, Medina Hospital. Drawing on nearly four decades of nursing experience, Maureen is passionate about caring for patients. She's led several continuous improvement projects to further enhance patient safety and outcomes, engaging her peers in problem solving and maximizing resources. Maureen fosters collaboration and precepts new staff and nursing students, sharing her superior knowledge and wound care skills. Doris Rita Patrick, 38-year nursing career, Avon Hospital. During her career, Doris has impacted hundreds of nurses as an educator, mentor, and caring colleague. She's equally valued by patients. As critical care house officer, Doris routinely calls upon her exceptional listening skills and compassion. Under her guidance, ICU staff have become adept at helping patients and their families face end of life with grace and dignity. Michelle Reali Sorel, 25-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. Michelle's leadership and vision have transformed care, especially for those who have experienced a traumatic event. She's implemented innovative practices to increase access and provide the highest level of care to these vulnerable patients. Michelle also fervently advocates for everyone under her care and encourages her fellow caregivers to grow personally and professionally. Karen Schultz, 37-year nursing career, Cleveland Clinic Main Campus. As nurse manager, Karen is committed to improving access to care for patients living with obesity. Her work as a member and past president of the American Society of Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery Integrated Health Section has helped transform the field. Karen's passion to improve a patient's health and quality of life has inspired and improved countless lives. Denise Spear, 46-year nursing career, Fairview Hospital. Denise cares for the most vulnerable patients, neonates in the newborn intensive care unit. Now the Director of Women's and Children's Services at Fairview Hospital, she remains dedicated to improving patient outcomes, promoting evidence-based care, advocating for family-centered care, and mentoring the next generation of nurses. Sue Sturgis, 42-year nursing career, Hillcrest Hospital. Sue retired this month, most recently serving as Senior Nursing Director at Hillcrest Hospital. Among her many achievements, Sue helped lead Hillcrest to its first magnet designation and recertification. Through the years, she's mentored countless nurses, conducted research, improved geriatric care, implemented patient safety initiatives, and so much more. Her positive impact on countless others will be felt for generations to come. Donna Takiti, 31-year nursing career, Fairview Hospital. Donna works as clinical manager for the Neurological Institute and Orthopedic Ambulatory Practice. She is highly respected and admired for her nursing expertise, compassion for patients, and willingness to help colleagues. Donna has mentored many nursing students during her career and serves as a role model to everyone around her.
Ann von Torsik, 41-year nursing career, Lutheran Hospital. Ann was instrumental in building the nursing workflow for Epic that's still used today throughout the enterprise. In her current role as nursing operations manager at Lutheran Hospital, she's respected by staff as a leader and problem solver. Recognized for her extensive knowledge and experience, Anne is a mentor and inspiration to countless others. Congratulations to all of our Lifetime Achievement Award recipients, and thank you for your astonishing combined 398 years of service in nursing. What a wonderful ceremony. This is what Cleveland Clinic Nursing is all about. I recall the day Sam and Maria Miller endowed our Nursing Excellence Awards program. It was back in 2012, and for many years previously, they have been among Cleveland Clinic's greatest supporters, especially when it came to nursing. They felt nurses were the heart and soul of healthcare and wanted to honor and recognize those who went the extra mile in their professional practice. Since that day, thanks to their generous contributions and support, our Nursing Institute has been able to honor and recognize more than 100 Cleveland Clinic nurses each year through this program. We have nearly 29,000 nursing caregivers across our global health system. And as the recipients of our most coveted Nursing Excellence Awards, you are raising the bar for all of your colleagues. The value you bring to our collaborative work, our multidisciplinary team of teams, our patients and communities is immeasurable. You certainly exemplify the outstanding nursing that has been such a pivotal part of Cleveland Clinic since our organization's inception. For decades, Cleveland Clinic nurses have been serving a true and noble purpose to care for others. And your superior service speaks volumes to what we can result when patient care reflects the best in empathy, compassion, and clinical knowledge. Additionally, to lead by example and accelerate the nursing profession during an unprecedented global pandemic deserves only the highest of accolades. When faced with what we are likely some of the greatest challenges of your careers, you showcase the power of exceptional nursing. I don't believe I have ever witnessed such adversity, poise, dedication, selflessness, or unity from the nursing profession as what I have seen in the past year and a half. It's been said that nurses are the glue that hold the entire patient experience together. So as we close our celebration tonight, I'd like to share with you a few heartfelt messages from fellow team members who, like me, offer their sincere thanks for your tireless dedication and all that you bring to our caregiving teams. To all the nurses here at Cleveland Clinic, we just want to say thank you. I would like to thank the nurses for everything they do. Just for being who you are without you, we could not deliver the world-class care that we do to our patients and to our community. And ultimately, you guys are the ones taking care of our patients. You comfort our patients in the time of sickness. Just letting them know that you're here, that you're caring. You bring not only your education, your intelligence, but you bring the heart and the empathy. You bring in that human touch. Thank you so much. You are the backbone of the hospital. Your courage is awe-inspiring. We watched you storm into rooms to fight a virus that we knew very little about. You are loved and appreciated by everyone. I have huge respect for them, for sure. Thank you for your courage, compassion, and help. You guys are just amazing. Nurses are truly heroes in my eyes. They are such patient advocates. They are the eyes and ears of everything. They go above and beyond for our patients here. They're wonderful. And you have to have a big heart to do their job. Taking care of everybody during these hardest of times. Nurses have just been rock stars, handling it with so much grace and compassion. They're always there when you need them. It's really an inspiration to me. I give better care every day working with these nurses here. We depend on them and we just want to let them know how much we appreciate them. You guys are all superstars. 
It truly is amazing to see how much of a positive impact you have. I am so privileged to work with each and every one of you every single day. So I just wanted to say thank you for all the commitment and compassion that you guys put in every single encounter with our patients. So, gracias por todo lo que hacen por nuestros pacientes. We love y'all. Thank you for watching the 2021 Maria and Sam Miller Nursing Excellence Award Ceremony. And congratulations to all of tonight's remarkable honorees.